Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to some more LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. This one, for all of you, is going to be level number 9, Doctor in the House. And uh, this is story mode, so you know, we're getting through the level. But uh, you will notice a couple things here. First of all, 100,000 studs for True Believer. We will get that with ease with our multiplier. And also, we are going to be picking up the Doctor in the House uh, achievement or trophy. And again, that is simply just for completing the level, but anyways, we're gonna get this one started as well as the cutscene. <laughs> Thanks for sending Agent Coulson to help with the cleanup here. You were assisting S.H.I.E.L.D. at the time. Besides, I can expense it. But there's something else I need you to help me with. Magneto has stolen the Tesseract and we've tracked its energy signature to Latveria. It's finally time for Operation Latveria to get underway. Why'd it take so long to plan? Approvals, counter signatures, four rounds of notes, you can't believe the bureaucracy I deal with. If Doom combines the power of the Tesseract with those cosmic bricks... It could be very dangerous. He has to be stopped. Yeah, it's... Not, no, not yet. Are you going to tell them, sir? One threat at a time, Coulson. I hope you ain't expecting us to walk to Latveria, Reed. <laughs> you could use the exercise. Shed a few of those extra boulders. I'll shed you in a minute. Yikes. Seriously, you guys? Okey dokey. Well, here we are out in New York, and we are going to be, um... Doing some stuff here with our Fantastic Four. So we played as a Fantastic Four a bit, but uh, we've never really played as them all together. So this level is actually a Fantastic Four oriented level. Um, in fact, one of the Fant no two of the Fantastic Four members we've never played as. One of which being here, uh, the Invisible Woman, who's actually pretty similar to Jean Grey. So uh, here near this fountain, we can actually use her telekinetic power, so telekinesis to. Uh, lift about that cart and then spill out these parts. So Invisible Woman, pretty similar to Jean Grey uh, with the telekinesis and that force field thing she can uh, conjure up. But uh, anyways, build those parts up into a very convenient uh, little pad there, which is actually for, of course, Mr. Fantastic. Haven't used one of those in a while, but turn, transform into some sort of valve there. Spin that around and then that is actually going to spin the fountain, revealing this massive ship here. We'll hop inside that and that's going to take us away to a cuts. Deep in Central Europe lies a small nation known as Latveria, ruled by Victor Von Doom. Don't let the rustic look of Dr. Doom's castle fool you. It has incredibly advanced weaponry hidden behind its stone walls. Even really good internet. You call it the Fantastica. Whew. Nice. Does it come with satellite radio? We're entering Latverian airspace. Local weather is dreary with an 80% chance of bad guys. And a 100% chance of incoming fire. Sending the fantastic car to autopilot so we can jump in. Human Torch and I will secure the landing zone. Well, here's a pretty intense way to begin this level. Uh, we're actually here free falling. Free falling down um, through the sky, and we're actually falling down into the level, which is a pretty fun way to start this level. I haven't had anything like this before, but a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick area. I saw this in a movie once. <sighs> Green goblins hit it. Doom's hiring every baddie he can find. I wonder what kind of benefits he offers. Must be decent. He's got an army of security guards, too. Ben, I believe some clobberin's in order. Ah, oh, soon. 
You ruined my line! And now, here we are actually in the real level, well, the, the main bit of the level. That was obviously still part of the level, but now we're actually in the main part of the level where we're here on, I think it's called Latveria, is what the area is called. It's basically just Doctor Doom's domain. Obviously, Doctor in the house is referring to Doctor Doom, but unfortunately, we don't actually get to battle Doctor Doom here, but we will have a different villain that we get to take on, who we actually saw earlier in the story but we never actually took them on as a boss battle, so you can maybe figure out who that is, or maybe not, but either way, we will uh, have to wait and see. But anyways, what we did here, a couple things, so we actually stacked up those blocks with Invisible Woman's Telekinesis to make a makeshift staircase, but also, before that, you actually had to lift up that crate which had a strength handle on it with the Thing, who's basically just the Hulk, but uh, I don't know if he's cool, I mean, he's pretty similar, I mean, they're both big guys, so they're both pretty cool. But uh, you actually had to pick up that crate on the left, which had two strength handles on it, and then I throw it up actually at the cracked wall that was up top that you could see glowing. But uh, once you've done that, we can actually make our way up here, and we can actually use the Invisible Woman, uh, basically like Captain America, to deflect beams, which is pretty awesome, actually. So you can conjure up a little shield there with her magical abilities, and then actually deflect the beam back at that circular uh, pad there. And then we can actually make our way across this little makeshift bridge there and uh, then once we're over here on the other side we've got a couple things to do so first and foremost we're just going to smash about working towards that 100k but I mean we get well more than that I think I don't know exactly but I think we get about 300k in this level and that's a pretty standard amount going forward with these story levels uh, especially with our 2x sub multiple that makes sub collecting a lot easier plus of course the multipliers you get for rapidly taking out enemies like that also, something I do want to kind of bring your attention to, there is actually an achievement slash trophy for um, defeating, I think it's 100 enemies, might be 150 enemies, but I think it's 100 enemies as the thing, you can get an achievement for that. We don't get it in this level, but we do take out a good amount of enemies, and there is actually a level coming up relatively soon where we will be playing as the thing. I haven't recorded that one yet, so I don't know if we will or won't get the achievement there, but I mean, we might try to, but uh... Yeah, so that's just going to be an accumulative one that you get across the game. So what I'd recommend in this level, and any level you're playing is the thing. Just take our enemies as the thing. I think there maybe are a couple other characters where you have to defeat a certain amount of enemies with them. But I think, I feel like the thing might be the only character with one of those achievements. But uh, either way, we may or may not do a video for that later on. Uh, just depends if we think it's necessary or not. But anyways, did a little bit of story completion there. Use that technology term. It's fantastic. And uh, that activated that bridge there. And then we'll make our way across here. Another cracked wall. So we'll just smash through that with the thing. <laughs> His kind of like special move there. Like the hopes he can do like a massive thunderclap. The thing here just absolutely rocks the ground. Just send a shockwave forward straight through the ground. And that's, that's pretty cool, right? But um, yeah, we're just here um, using Invisible Woman to uh, use her telekinetic powers to uh, interact with those platforms there, but uh, you know what, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from talking, or just a little step back from talking about the level, you can kind of see what's going on here again, the story level's pretty self-explanatory, but I did just want to kind of talk about that one thing, and that is streaming, so I am thinking that potentially I'm going to split up the streaming a little bit, and not necessarily do all of the streaming on Twitch, I think some stuff could happen on YouTube, like there's a few things kind of within the series is where I feel like streaming YouTube could be handy. For example, like at the end of our Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 series, I wanted to kind of showcase buying all the characters, but I feel like doing that in a video would have been like, would have been kind of difficult to do, you know, specifically in video form. So that is potentially something that could get streamed, and I feel like I might try to do that on YouTube, right? So then it's kind of still a part of it, because it's still a part of the, the guide stuff, but kind of stuff outside of the guides I might not do here on YouTube I think that could be something I do separately on Twitch that way it kind of separates it because you know we'll stream the stuff that I feel like could be streamed here like potentially even if we wanted to do uh, like stream a series potentially again as I, I said this in a previous video but like Super Smash Bros Ultimate I want to do a series for that but doing videos for that adventure mode is like is crazy because I always do like I record, and then I'll do post-commentary voicing over, you know, my video, right? And that's just how I've 
done it and that's just what works for me it, it, you know it works really well because it lets me set up what I'm going to talk about for the video rather than going in and doing audio and the game at the same time this way I can split it up and if there's anything that happens at level I can pre-say that beforehand it just makes the most sense for me and plus when I'm talking sometimes I will yap away so I don't actually even have to focus on the game because I'm not playing it, I'm just watching over my game. But, you know, so it's just easier that way. But, yeah, I think potentially, like, if we were to do Smash Brothers Ultimate, that could be something good on YouTube because I want to make a series out of that, but doing videos for that is just, like, too difficult, so I think streaming would work. And then, of course, again, with what I was saying, like, the, pur the purchasing wrap-up, or whatever you want to call it, at the end of a series, we could stream that. So potentially we could even stream purchasing all the characters and never had what it is one through four and maybe showcasing some of them because I still think I have my save profile for that uh, on my uh, Xbox 360 and that should be not 100% and I should still have all the characters to buy there. I don't think I've touched that save file since I finished that series. So I'm thinking that could be something that happens. I will have to get it set up. I have set up Twitch. I haven't set up YouTube streaming yet though so I uh, will have to we'll have to look into that I mean I'm sure just look up a video and it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest but um yeah so that's something I'm gonna look into feel free to let me know down below as well but I think that makes the most sense in my head keep the kind of chill stuff like maybe if I want to do a chill Mario Kart 8 deluxe stream or something because that's a game I, I played and enjoy you know maybe we'll play a bit online and we can do that on the on the Twitch or, you know, of course I did say bad speed running, but I feel like, you know, if I do this, I stream stuff on YouTube and that stays on YouTube and that's, that's chill. Whereas like, I just feel like we want to keep some of the stuff that isn't guide related a bit separate, if that makes sense. So that's going to be the idea going forward. Um, and I think that makes the most sense in my head because that way we're just splitting things up that make sense to be split up, but then we can also stream on YouTube stuff that I feel like it just would make sense to do on YouTube. So, look, I know I've kind of been rambling, but I think that makes the most sense in my head. And I'll probably explain that more when I do my first stream, which I don't know exactly when that's going to be. I do just want to get focus on this series, get all the story out, and then I'll worry about streaming. So I'm not too worried about it just yet. But we are getting to the conclusion of this story. We're almost two thirds of the way through, which is nice. After the next level, we'll be two thirds of the way through. So that's exciting. We're not in the home stretch uh, just yet, but we're getting there. Anyways, uh, sorry, I know I literally have not been talking about the level at all, but again, these story levels are incredibly self-explanatory. Uh, most of it is kind of given to you, but uh, I still like to make the story videos for sure, because, you know, we get to talk about stuff like that, you know, in the free play videos. It's kind of difficult, because we're just rushing through collectibles and getting that all out for you. So that's also a benefit of, of the stream, is we'll just be able to chat as well. So, yeah, it's less strict with me trying to <laughs> get every last breath out, um, talking about what's going on, but... Uh, yeah, you can see what we're doing here, pulling this uh, grapple plug, which kind of lowers this ladder for us, so we can make our way up top here. And got a couple things to do up here, actually. So first and foremost, we're just going to take out some enemies, stack up a little multiplier, and then we'll grab that blue star in the middle, I'm sure is what we do for that, surely. Yep, there you go, grab that with a little multiplier. Very nice. But uh, anyways, once we've got enough stars, we'll smash this little object here in the back left side, uh, some sort of statue there, and we can actually build the parts into a deflect pad. It's very misleading because it, it does show Captain America's kind of symbol on there, but it turns out other characters can actually do that. I mean, I'm sure Invisible Woman's probably one of the only characters, unless there are some other characters with shields that I don't know of. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of characters in this game that we can just unlock around New York, so I'm sure we'll get that. I mean, we will get that for sure, yeah. But, uh, Free roam is not for a while. First, we've got to get through story and free play and a ton of extra stuff as well. So, yeah, but anyways, deflect that laser from the right to the left there, and that will create another one of these, like, kind of like energy bridges. So, yeah, we've seen a ton of those throughout this level, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, this is a very interesting setting for a level. It's very different. It's kind of like snowy fortress vibes. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, definitely very cool. But, uh, anyways, once you've taken out a bunch of enemies and built up a multiplier, you can just see, man, the multipliers is just crazy. And, yeah, imagine a free play. We're going to have an even higher multiplier. Yeah, it's just going to be crazy. It really will be crazy. But I just take out a lot of enemies because I know there is that achievement for taking out all the enemies with, uh, the thing. So we want to get as close to that as we can. We don't have to get it now. We didn't end up getting it now, so 
no real rush with that. Uh, as I said, we do have another level. Uh, I think another couple levels actually coming up where we do place the thing, so we'll have plenty more opportunities to get a lot of items. But we did end up racking up, I'd say, at least like 60 in this. If someone wants to do an, an exact tally for the amount of enemies we defeated is the thing, hey, be my guest. I'd, I'd be thrilled to find out what that uh, what that tally is, to be honest, but, uh, you know, I know that is a bit of effort as well. But anyways, we're just making our way up here. We had to switch to Human Torch. Um, and then we also had to fly up to this high left ledge where we actually had to switch to Nick Fury. Uh, so now Nick Fury is part of our party, which is a bit random. He's just tagged along with the Fantastic Four. But anyways, what we're going to do here, you saw we flipped that lever. That was actually a bit of a mistake. We did that a bit early, but uh, I mean, no harm done. But uh, you could see this little turret up top here. So use telekinesis on that first, and then we will uh, pull the lever, which will actually pull that laser to activate. But, uh... Yeah, so uh, that's cool. But uh, also, actually, something, you know, I was talking about, like, other stuff and kind of distracting myself from what's actually going on in the video, but something a little bit off topic uh, in this May time date, this video, a little bit, if you're watching this way down the line in the future, uh, if you are, hello. But uh, the Olympics has been going on, Paris 2024 Olympics has been going on. Uh, I've been watching it a little bit. I uh, was wondering if uh, all of you have. Uh, I think as I'm recording this, which, again, we'll time date this, but I think... This is before the Olympics have ended, but I think the U.S. and China are tied for the, like, the most gold medals in the Olympics currently, which is pretty cool, and I'm curious to see who will actually end up getting the most. But, uh, yeah, there's been some pretty cool events. I uh, saw the 100 meter, uh, Noah Lyles won that, but, uh, that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, anyways, we're just going to melt this gold ball down. Uh, we'll probably get back to that Olympic conversation here in a little bit, but, uh, well, I step on this pressure switch uh, with the thing that's going to take us up this elevator and take us away to another cutscene. Any second of that, we're going to. What? No Spider Man? Shit! I do so uh... enjoy winding him up. <laughs> so, yeah, the Olympics. Um, I don't really. Actually, I don't really talk about a lot of stuff that's like happening IRL, to be honest, uh, in the videos, because. We're just so focused on everything else that's happening in the level and the channel and, and everything. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I just thought I'd bring it up because uh, it was just, I don't know, it was just randomly, I just thought, I was like, oh, we mentioned that. But, um, yeah, and that's what, again, that's the benefit of the, the streams. We'll be able to have more chill conversations, which will, be, uh, which will be very exciting. So I'm looking forward to adding streams to the channel. And it'll just add some variety, you know, um, for people to, to watch something more chill as well. But, yeah, so, yeah, a couple, I mean, I don't know, I think this Olympics is, is pretty cool. I've been watching the basketball a little bit, um, I think Team USA and Team France are the finalists for that, like, the, they're in the gold medal game, which should be, should be cool. Very excited to see who's going to win that, uh, really anybody's game at this point, everybody says Team USA, but they were down a lot against Serbia, uh, they did end up coming back to win, but, I don't know, France has been playing really well, so... I mean, they did take down the world champs, Germany, to get to the finals, so I mean, I'm looking forward to the game. I think as I'm recording this, is actually tomorrow that the game is on, which is uh, very exciting, so I am looking forward to that, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, have to wait and see what happens there, and uh, I think a lot of the running's done, like a lot of the main running is done, like I think we've done 100, 200, 400 are done, and I don't, I don't know about the other stuff. I, I, I'm not like a huge watcher of it, I've just seen some things here and there, but um, Either way, either way, to uh, basically, this Green Goblin boss battle is a little bit interesting. Oh, sorry, not interesting. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just kind of wait around, and eventually Green Goblin will fly through the windows. You can put up some parts uh, into something that will kind of hurt Green Goblin. First, it was like a crate that we had to pick up with the thing and throw it at him. Then there, it was like a tennis racket we had to build up and float in the air with. Um, not when cutting Leviosa. <laughs> Shoot, it's telekinesis. Yes, that's right. I'm, I can guarantee I'm going to call it Leviosa more than a couple times throughout the series, just by our habit, but yeah, I mean, we use it so much in Harry Potter. I don't think we're going to be using telekinesis quite as much in this game as we use Leviosa in Harry Potter, but yeah, um, either way, we're, uh, it's all good. I mean, it's the same thing. I like Leviosa, telekinesis, it's the same thing, really, but in fact, it's even pink. It's the same pink color. That's, I think that's the main thing that's throwing me off, because it's like... If it was a different color, I'm sure I'd be fine, but the fact that it's pink as well is, is just throwing me off a bit. But, 
Anyways, this is actually going to finish off Green Goblin. We have to head to the back here. He just flew through that window up top there. So, what we have to do is run to the other side here. And uh, we are going to build the parts up into a... I don't really know what to call this. I think it's like a fantastic pad is what we're going to call it. Some sort of Mr. Fantastic pad. Yeah, I think that works. And uh, here's Miss Fantastic. We're going to transform into a whole... Like, watchtower antenna radio thing. I don't know what that's called. But anyways... Uh, once that's happened, we're just gonna hit one, hit one, one last time. Hit that Fools! Don't force me to use Doctor Doom's Doom Ray of Doom. Does that look like a ray gun to you, Reed? Usually ray guns use focused light, whereas this appears to use cosmic energy. Why don't you just ask him? Villains love to talk about their stuff. Hey, Doom, what is that thing? Oh, you'd like to see it in action? Very well. Uh. Hmm. There we have it. Doctor in the house. Level complete. Free play is now unlocked, which is very exciting. You see, there we go. We got the thing. And also, look at that. Doctor in the house. This time, the achievement slash trophy actually did pop. And it didn't take six minutes to pop like in the last level. If you haven't checked out the last level, the achievement just didn't. It just never popped. Uh, at least not on the video. It did like a couple minutes after you recorded it. But yeah, it's just a shame it didn't end up popping before I saw on the recording. Not that it makes a huge difference, it's just a level based achievement, but yeah, it's still a little bit annoying. Anyways, see that racked up a couple more studs. I think we'll definitely, actually no, we definitely will end up hitting uh, over 2 million studs on the next level. Like not, like 2 million total, like we're not going to get 2 million just in that one level, but in fact, I think we do end up getting 500,000 in the next level, but that's, so that's exciting. But anyways, Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That is going to actually bring us to the conclusion of this one. Level number nine, Doctor in the House. Now, that was story mode, so none of the collectibles or anything just yet, but uh, that is coming in due time. Still probably two weeks out from getting started with the main collectibles, but uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to go ahead and do it for me for this one. If you found this one helpful or potentially entertaining, a like would certainly be appreciated. Also, feel free to subscribe subscribe, comment, any of that fun stuff, um, also, yeah, yeah, with the commenting, feel free, feel free to comment about any sort of stuff about the live stream, it's gonna happen soon, I promise, but, uh, until the next one, all, I will see you all later, see everybody.